my name is Hilary Chris, and I started Sister Clade with my sister Madeline. Um, we've both been dancing since we were young, since about three. Um, both trained in ballet, but the funny thing is, throughout our careers, we've never danced together. So the piece is called No Place for the Worldly Minded, and um, our piece, it, it deals with themes of um, sort of influence, temptation. It's kind of about human nature in general and just how we're, we can be easily influenced and when we become, sometimes we become obsessed with one idea. Someone who's worldly minded, I think is someone who's the opposite of someone who's fanatical and, or obsessive. So um, that's why it's called No Place for the Worldly Minded. Because so, we're both trained in ballet. We both did classical ballet when we were younger. Madeline even further than I did. She went to Europe and danced in a ballet company there and then slowly she started you know, gravitating towards the more contemporary companies and I went to Ryerson and got exposed to many different kinds of dance, one of them contemporary. I think working with, with my sister has been different because we almost have no boundaries when we're speaking with each other. Like we can say anything. It can be, you know, someone has an idea, I don't like it. I can say that to her and it's fine. It doesn't create a problem. And I think that that sort of no boundaries situation has made, has given us more freedom in the creative process. Moving to a new city, I guess, made me realize that I had to be productive, you know, and also putting yourself in a new environment. You're less distracted, you have less friends. So it's really easy to sort of focus on the things that you love to do. Between finding jobs, I wanted to be productive and this seemed like a really great place to do it. Great dance community, really supportive, incredible independent choreographers and dancers, and a very young community too, which is very, inspiring. I, I think the interesting thing we're doing with this show is that we're collaborating with um, two bands who are going to be performing after the show, after our dance piece, which is something a little bit different than the typical dance evening experience. It'll be more, hopefully there'll be a lot of young people there, um, pe maybe some people who've never been to a dance show before. So we're just hoping to kind of expose a little bit of a new audience to dance.